There were a lot of great aspects about the first one. It was fun. It was a great exploration into Jules Verne's novel, one of his most popular. Um, and the cast had fun. When the studio came to me about wanting to reboot the franchise, wanting me to star in it, well, then it takes a different kind of shift and a different type of turn. Um, I'm a different actor than Brandon. We are different men. We approach things differently. We react differently. He has a certain style. I have a certain style. Um, but it, the, all the variables together made it very easy to say yes to this project because you had a studio in Warner Brothers that is amongst the best in terms of putting out a movie like this, marketing a movie like this, and caring about a movie like this. You had built-in success, so there was all, all you know, there was uh, a global appeal already, right? So it's there, so it's, so it's yours to screw up, basically. Uh, and then you have the uh, 3D advanced technology of James Cameron's uh, technology that he um, advanced even more and worked on after Avatar and let us use it. Uh, and so th there were a lot of variables for me to say yes. I thought it was critical. I mean, with a movie like this, where it, when you use the word uh, action, that's different. Action adventure, okay, different tone. Epic action adventure, it means scope, and size, and wide lenses, and you wanna see the beauty of what you're talking about, what makes it so epic. So there's no place better than, um, for us at that time, Hawaii, where you see the, the land, the mountains, the greenery, the lushness, the rainforest, so it was critical. And, but you see that texture in the movie where audiences watch it and they know it's not a green screen, it's not computer generated, this is a real deal, we're here, this is our version of the mysterious island. It lends itself to one's imagination. We'll put on the biggest match in the history of wrestling. That was my goal, was to go back for one night and give something special back to the fans. And for me, personally, too, because I love that business. I'm passionate about it. Me and Hollywood are married now. We were dating for a little while. We didn't know if we were going to make it. But now we're married, we have kids. For the next 10 years, not 20 years, I'll have to start having grandkids with Hollywood, but me and Hollywood are, are together. We're together like this. Knowing that my movies make people happy, that's the biggest satisfaction I mean that. It's bigger than any paycheck. Uh, <clears throat> I was very lucky that I came into Hollywood. Um, I had a little bit of money in my pocket, so money wasn't uh, influent, uh, influential in any way in my decisions. So, no, making people happy. They are. They have to be. And that, that's what happens, I think, with actors. And when you look at actors, which is a fascinating process, by the way, when you look at artists, entertainers, singers, actors, stage actors, their art reflects them. Uh, so my movies reflect my sensibilities and reflect who I am. I protect my privacy, and I protect, uh, I protect my family from it, um, and I don't seek it. I don't seek fame. I don't seek uh, paparazzi. I don't need that. I don't need, I don't need to call paparazzi ahead of time and tell them I'm going to be at a certain restaurant or I'm going to be at the airport or anything like that. I, I, don't, I don't need it. <clears throat> and how do I deal with fame? That's easy. Um, I was 25 years old, nobody knew who I was, and I had seven bucks in my pocket. 
Now, the alternate, the alternative to me being famous would be that. So, I've got no problem being famous. <laughs>